for the Rankings Corner. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to the greatest spectacle to reach your internet on Tuesdays at exactly 6.30 p.m. I am the Rank King, Austin Morat, alongside, as always, Oracle Vaughn, Noble Knight, Greg. This is the Rank King's Court. Hallelujah. It's hot outside, boys. It is <laughs> smoldering. Is that is that why you're trying to do a Magnum P.I. cosplay right now? Or No, because I would need a better mustache, and I'm pretty sure that I don't know. What was the family guy joke that he always has poop on his hands for some reason? I, I don't I have no idea. It, is your AC working now? Uh, AC? <laughs> Got a nice fan in the corner over here. <laughs> That's what you mean. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. What? I'm embracing it. No uh, no boozy tonight. Wait, We're rolling straight with some. You know, you know, we have AC here. I'm, I'm wondering you what you want to know where we are. Uh, sure. Yeah, we'll go. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Rankings Court is live today from Union Fitness Studios, located on the North Shore of Pittsburgh. And Union Fitness is more than a traditional gym. It's a place where you can transform yourself inside and out. With a variety of classes based around fitness, yoga, strength, and performance training. And Union Fitness, they believe that is their duty to hold themselves and their clients to a higher standard. They practice what they preach and uphold the values to make Union Fitness the community that it is. Go to UnionFitness.com today to sign up for a consultation. Through Union, there is strength. How impressed were you guys that I was able to read that off, by the way, when I wasn't in the studio last week? Just so. Like I said, quote-unquote, it was probably the greatest thing I've ever seen on the internet since the internet came into existence. And that was a hell of a day. It was. Y2K. Mm -hmm. Craziness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a great show for you guys tonight. Uh, definitely a controversial one. Going to get a lot of hate. Don't care. We're in the Hawaiian because I'm feeling the heat. You embrace um, the heat. I heat embrace. is life. But, yeah, no no boozy tonight, boys. Uh, rolling with the uh, Arizona iced tea with the lemon. So do you, have, do you have a wild, you have a wild uh, weekend or something that you're recovering from? Or? No, it's just hot. I don't uh, feel like that adds up, yeah. It's very, very hot. And, I mean, I've had a decent amount of water today. But if I feel like if I drink any alcohol, I'm going to dry it from the inside out and absolutely shit my brains out. Mm -hmm. So none of that tonight. We are doing strictly with the Arizona tea. And uh, let's talk about a little bit before, because I know we're getting into what we're doing tonight. Let's talk about a little bit about last week real quick. Uh, we had uh, your, how do, how, do you, how do you even say Future brother-in-law. Future brother-in-law, brother thank Beyonce, you. But yeah. Future brother-in-law. So we had him on last week for Star Wars Talk Part Two, three, three, whatever you want to two call Two and a half. Two and a half. Lion King, one and a half. Still a great yeah. film. But yeah, two and a half uh, for us. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's been a long time since I've been out nerded by Star Wars, and yeah. I felt right at home. I felt humbled. I felt like a great amount of information was being given to me. Um, I'm you assuming did, you guys you have to lose. Uh, well, as I was just going to say, I, I love when the, you, you just, just jab in there right before I make the line. Yeah. So I was going to say, how, how did uh, the voting polls, uh, what were the results? The results were you lost. <laughs> that's all That's all that matters, apparently. <laughs> it was. What were the results? I can't see him now. But he won. I do know that. I think he had 13 votes. You had six. Damn. Last I checked. That was a route. But I do have yes, this. Uh, I do have this quote that pertains to this ranking. Okay. It is heavy as the head that wears the false crown. 
Is that a way to say I have a big head? That means uh, you lost. You, that's a fake crown on your head. That's true. Ryan, but, Ryan won the crown last I year. don't know. It is glued to his head, so that might be an issue. Yeah. If a list can win without R2-D2 and Princess <laughs> Leia, whatever. You guys are nuts. Um, Clearly people think they're overrated. Go figure. We did have a fan submission, too, for a top ten from Frank. Is it Vieira? This isn't he a singer? It was on your guys' show the one time. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I blanked on him for a second. Yeah, he, I, hadn't heard, I hadn't heard that name in a while. <laughs> this is gonna be funny me reading his names because some of them I don't know. One was Qui Gon Jin. Okay. Qui Gon. Qui Gon Jin. R two D two, Darth Maul, Yoda, Palpatine, Han Solo, Ashoka Tano, Obi Wan, Ray. And Admiral Akbar. Wow. I agree with a number of those names. Um, Admiral Akbar, I believe, is just for the memes, maybe. The it's a trap. Yes, that's probably that's probably the idea he was going with. Um man, he's probably right with Ray. I just hate her. Uh, it, that's just personal bias. I that's shouldn't, fine. but yeah, it's, it's your top ten, so. Yeah, no, I mean, she's just a terrible character. Uh, they don't know what they're doing. Um, Ahsoka Tano should have been in there. Darth Maul should have been in there. It's just a lot, man. It, it, there's a lot of characters. Uh, I don't know. Everyone's everyone's going to have their thing. So I agree. I disagree. I'm right. You're wrong. Shut the hell up. And let's move on to tonight's topic, which is... Little Debbie snacks. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna get heated quickly. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, originally, when the idea was approached to me, I'm thinking, well, I'll just go out and buy all the Little Debbie snacks. No, <laughs> we are not having a repeat of Taco Bell again. But then, then again, it, it would have been amazing. Now he would have been high on sugar if that's the case, and we would have had to. <laughs> we could have had a diabetic issue. On our hands I was gonna say I, if we're gonna if we were gonna do that, I probably would have had needed some blood work drawn. Probably everything, yes. and I just don't want to do that. I haven't <laughs> still haven't done it in my life, and need to, but I haven't. So God, you both annoy me with that. But go ahead. <laughs> so, um, there's a lot of the little Debbie snacks out there in the world. Um, recently, it's been getting a lot of buzz on TikTok. Uh, I don't know if you guys know they used to be. Um, Simply, I think, titled Rhett and Link uh, on YouTube, but they've transitioned to Good Mythical Morning uh, that mm -hmm. it transitions. And they have, they have little food episodes from time to time where they do little things. They'll try all the Krispy Kreme donuts. They'll try um, all of the Pop-Tarts, all of all these different things. And recently, one dropped where they tried every single Little Debbie snack. So how, how, many, single how one. many is that just that curiosity? I haven't I you know what I've just seen it like hard oh, sorry. It. I glanced at it, I didn't see it, so I wouldn't know exactly how many, mm -hmm. but they know they put them into categories, which is interesting. Hmm. Uh they'll go by like frosted or um I don't even know how you want it, filled, like stuff like that. I feel like that's way too in depth for you. Uh you know there maybe. are more than seventy five varieties. <laughs> and we have a first time chat. From the one Freeman, twelve. Let's see some bananas. Let's see some get bananas out of then. here! <laughs> Yo, get out Not of here! Not a fan? No, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> you don't like bananas or yeah, twins? I mean, I like bananas. You don't like twins? Gotta like get my potassium in, but I like to get my potassium without it, you know, tasting like absolute garbage. No offense. Wow. So, <laughs> he said we sad. Got sad. I understand. I understand. <laughs> but. Uh, there's a lot to get into tonight. Uh, I'm excited. Obviously, you know, fans are rolling. So let's get into it with Radical Ranking number one. And a grind project says, what's up, boys? Just in time for oh. Radical Ranking number one. Nice. None of that happens, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. The first radical ranking, which is entitled 
ranking Little Debbie ice cream. Did you guys know that Little Debbie came out with ice cream pints? No. I, I saw it, but it was one of those things like, I don't know if this is actually real or just like made up. Right. So I think this is actually a lot of buzz from TikTok, I think. Um, or it could be like one of those things, you know, where they try to make unnecessary things happen just because they have money. Look at Mountain Dew. They just keep posting flavors left and right. I mean, the Flaming Hot Cheeto one. I don't get that. I, have then, you tried again, it? Again, it's not Flaming Hot Cheeto. It's just Flaming Hot. Flaming Hot. So, Cheeto. no. Have you tried no, it? There is no Cheeto in that drink. Have I have you, not tried it. My brother. I took one sip. It was, it. Mm. No. Not good. I, I don't even know why anyone would drink that, but that's just me. I was curious. Oh, okay. Tasted like Mountain uh, Dew, and then the spiciness hit you, and it's like, you know, wow. You know what happened to the cat when it was curious, right? What happened? It was killed. I'm still living. Mm. So I took one sip. Soon. Two sips might have killed me. Yeah, I know. Uh, in December, I know, they, they came out with a gingerbread flavor that was white, and I didn't want any part of that. I was like, that sounds... That doesn't absolutely. sound right. Like, you would think it would be, like, be like at least, like, some, like, speckles of brown in it or something like that. It right? might have, but I there was no way I was getting close enough to, t to tell. Fair so, enough. Okay. So, these are all of my personal top five Little Debbie ice cream pints. There are seven in total, so two are not included on this list. So, let's get into number five. Cosmic Brownie. They made I Cosmic know. Brownie ice cream? They did, Greg. They did. Wow. And here's See, the thing of good. why it's... What a time to be alive. Here's the thing of why it's five. You guys ever freeze M&Ms by yes. chance? Yes, I have. Why? That's, I don't know. <laughs> just to try it. Just for fun. Yeah. No, it's, it's, not a, it's not a knack of that. It's the fact that when you freeze them, and then you're like, oh, I'm going to eat these, and then you pop shoe. one in... And it doesn't melt like it's supposed to because it's frozen, and you end up chipping your teeth off every freaking one that you start eating. How the hell do you chip a question. tooth off of an M and M? That's just weak. If it's frozen, that's just weak teeth on your part. No, if it's frozen, I could see, I could see that happening. But like, you should know from the get go when you put it in your mouth that like it's not gonna like break easily. So it's like which a job begs right the question again: Why do you freeze them? I don't know. <laughs> if you're gonna. It takes too much time, in my honest opinion. And that's exactly what transpires with this. You have the little candy pieces that are in this ice cream. And when you bite into them, it's not going to be warm. It's freaking solid candy that's frozen. So it hurts your teeth. Okay, but wait a second. Like, I've had M&M ice cream before that, like, didn't, like, break my teeth when I took a bite of it or something. No, but so. it certainly doesn't feel great. I mean, look for M&M blizzards by chance. I got it once when I was a kid and it was the worst feeling in the entire world. It's like eating a bowl of Captain Crunch. It rips apart your mouth like razor blades. It doesn't make any sense of why it's in there. That happened one time and now you hate frozen M&Ms. Yes. Everything. I, I refuse to eat them like that. Huh. Are, are there bits of brownies in this though? There are like, it's chocolate brownie flavored ice cream, I believe with the little candy pieces okay All yeah right. get get some dentures for when you eat this <laughs> that way you can be happy and not worry about your teeth when was the last time you even went to a dentist Austin? that's probably <laughs> gonna like help if you have your teeth like are stronger if that's i'm not case. gonna sit here and have you have need my dental care that's that's hipaa Oh, yeah, that is true. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and demean, have you demean my dental care, right? <laughs> I'll demean him, too. He hasn't been to a dentist in forever. I've, I have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Cosmic County at five. Let's head off the floor before this really starts getting chilly. Um, number wow. four is zebra good. cakes. Hmm. Think of this as like, we all know that zebra cakes kind of feels like the cake batter yes. that you would get maybe in like a birthday cake. So to me, this is just ice cream, ice cream cake. With, it's, with it's fudge. Weird. Or, or birthday cake ice cream, basically. Yes, yeah, essentially, yeah. So I like it. It's too sugary for me. It's too sugary for me. That's zebra cakes in general, though, I feel like. Yeah, it happens from time to time where like, they'll have these great ideas of like, well, for instance, uh, confetti cake or whatever. I've seen a lot of those on the rise lately. Uh, like confetti cake shakes. Why? Do you want to go to a hospital? I'm just, I'm honestly just curious. 
I mean, it makes no sense to me. Well, I get the sugar. You don't need to be put in a coma. Well, what I'm saying. I mean, some people like the idea of a nice long sleep. <laughs> can do that. Just pop melatonin. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, this might be their version of melatonin. They don't want to pay for it, so they just get a zebra cake. That's fair. Uh, side story. Every time I hear the word zebra, when I was in kindergarten, I was in a spelling bee. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and it was basically, <laughs> instead of spelling the whole word, because you're in kindergarten, you just yeah. said the first letter. Right. So it wasn't even my turn, mm -hmm. and the, the word zebra came up, and I apparently just yelled, Z, zebra. Like, out of turn, everything. But I got it right. You were just so excited. So my, my whole family, like, anytime we see zebras or something, we always mention that. You, you were just so excited to say Z, weren't you? I was. Yeah, I got it right. Well, I mean, it you should. Not, it wasn't my turn. Well, so. You know what happened? He had a subscription to zoo animals from the uh, intro. Ah, that makes sense. Yep. So you, I love that. So you did um, a premature Z, basically. Basically. Mm. Premature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's head off to number three. An interesting one. I knew that this one would come up for them, but I didn't think it would taste quite as good. I thought it would be overwhelming. But number three is the strawberry shortcake roll. Oh, I feel like this, this would, would be, be aggressive good. a little bit. So that's what wow. I'm saying. Right? That's what I thought. It would, I felt like it would be overwhelming with strawberry flavor. I'm not the biggest fan of strawberry ice cream to begin with, mm. but it works. It, it kind of works. You feel like it has like the the crumble of like the breading almost in it. So it kind of like gives off that little, like not gingerbread taste, but it kind of gives off that like strawberry shortcake vibe with it. Hmm. Along with like the strawberry makes it almost complimentary in my honest opinion. I, I will say this though, Austin, I have slowly started to appreciate strawberry ice cream a lot more as I've gotten older. And that's yeah. probably because I eat a lot of yogurt. So that makes, that, that makes sense. That be it, yeah. If that's the case, but I think this would, this would probably be really good. The only thing I would be curious about is that, so is it more like, is it like strawberry ice cream specifically and then you have like cake pieces in it? I would think so, but I, I like I said, the cake pieces, I think it's normally just, I don't think like the the outer layer is like put into like little cubes or anything like that and put in. No. I think that it's just kind of like sprinkled in, like not the dust, but like you, you, you guys get what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I think, I, mean, I don't know. We actually, we just had some ice creams from, I think it was Target, and I had a strawberry shortcake, and they were like layered ones. Ooh. So it was like strawberry, one layer, vanilla ice cream, and then the, like the yeah, shortcake. Yeah, this wasn't that bad. It was, it was this good. wasn't that bad. Okay. So I like, I, I would like this one. I, I would think it would be interesting. Like, like I said, I thought it would be overwhelming. I will say an ice cream that I'm starting to appreciate more, it's definitely an, an I'll, I'll quote it as this, an elder ice cream. Neapolitan. Uh, you know what's weird? I, the best of all worlds. Ne Neapolitan was something that I think was pushed to us a lot when we were younger, especially like birthday parties where it was like everyone can have what they want, and it was uh, just like trying to be nice. And then there were times. those little cups, the little. Yeah, ice cream and then cups. there were times, but there were times where I was just like, but there were times where I just hated having like different flavors meshed together like that. I always thought it was like. Either freaking yeah, out like or the, it was, it was <clears throat> not good. But as I've gotten older, you are right. I've started to appreciate Neapolitan it, stuff. It gives you a little taste of each one. Yeah, that's true. You get, like, the weird, like, edging of, like, both. You get, like, the vanilla and the strawberry in it. This would be, honestly, in my opinion, guys, this should be the ice cream that every, like, school uses for, like, a pizza party. You get the thin slice of pizza with, like, the half little thing of, <laughs> of soda and then, like, a little scoop of one of the sides of like the Neapolitan ice cream. Hmm. Oh no, it's happening again. Interesting. Interesting take. I don't remember those as my my like pizza days in school, but then again, I went to Catholic school, so it was very lame. Well, yeah, instead of pizza parties, you're not she's even Catholic. The... Shut up. Instead of pizza parties, you just got to Catholic. You went to a Catholic school. Shut up. Oh, I'm trying to deliver the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we gotta focus on what's important here. Oh, I'm what's sorry. Important? <laughs> Again, the joke was, as I keep getting interrupted by it, is that Greg didn't get pizza parties. He just got smacked on the head with a ruler. So it's fine. <laughs> we'll move on to number two. Now that that's happened. Feels the number 60s, two. Maybe. Jeez. Number two. Uh, hey, I don't know what they are these days. I, I went to normal school. <laughs> so number two. <laughs> we are getting into the oatmeal cream pie ice cream. Okay, see, this would be... This I would be geeked to try. Not the, Cosmic Brownie. I w Cosmic Brownie would probably be my two, but this would be like one I would be very intrigued by. 
it's one that I didn't think that oatmeal and ice cream could coexist. I thought uh, this is going to be like one of those weird terms that try to do too much. And it, no, this slaps. Yeah. It's amazing. Honestly, for me, it would be number one, but I have to incorporate all essences of this ranking. Yeah. So oatmeal, cream pie, ice cream, I can promise you slaps. It's yeah, I actually, the one time I had vanilla ice cream mm -hmm. and I had oatmeal cream pies. So I was like, why I'll not throw one in there? Then look at you being wild. Look at you being a wild and crazy guy. Proud of you. So I'm gonna take credit for making this one. Is <laughs> that cool? Is that cool with you, Austin? You're giving. I uh, sure. I will. Right. I'll allow it. Thank you. All right. Interesting. I would. That's not a bad idea because, like, I've I've also pretty sure. Like, have you ever had um? Have you ever had Leona's ice cream sandwiches? No. No. They're like a. They're a local like um ice cream sandwich maker and stuff. You can get their stuff at Giant Eagle sometimes, but they've made, like, oatmeal cookies with ice cream in the middle before, Ooh. and I feel like that would be delicious. Them giant ice cream sandwiches that are, like, this big with, like, this amount of cookie and, like, this amount of ice cream. That was, like, one of the most Austin, insane you wanna things. you want to read that comment? What comment? <laughs> uh, let's pull it up. What? Um... Guy in the bottom of the pipe looks like he'll... My God. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not reading the rest of that. Uh, we're we're a PG holy shit, man. One, so, uh, maybe PG thirteen. That's a, that's our. That is, that is re oh man, that is way too much. Jesus Christ. Good lord. Well, Greg, do you want to explain the stream to him? Let's move on to number one. Uh, wow. Unfortunately, is one that I'm not able to have, but I've heard there have been nothing but excellent reviews on this, so I had no choice to put it on here. Uh, this is the Nutty Bar ice cream. You did the right thing. We're proud of you. We're proud of you. You're, you're, you're choosing to put something on here that could technically kill you, and you should be rewarded for that. For those that don't know, for first time watching, I do have a nut allergy. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, the Nutty Bar ice cream sounds amazing. It, it, it's not like I hate peanuts or anything like that. I bet, I bet if I, you know, death aside, I bet if I ate it today, it would be good. Yes, enjoy it. It. yes, you would, it's, bud. It's I, the thing of, like, for me, who is also allergic to shellfish, I've never had lobster, and I've always wanted to try it, but I know I never will. Mm -hmm. I've had shrimp. Found that up the hard way. Uh, it's still that, good. I mean, that's still considered, good. Isn't shrimp considered shellfish? Yeah, it's shellfish. Yeah. Oh. Well, I was going to say, like, you said, and shrimp, and it was like... That's how I found out. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's how I found out I was allergic to shellfish. Yeah. Got it. From Got the it. Shrimp. But yeah, Austin, um, Austin goes to the store, picks up the nutty bar, holds it there. It's like, this sounds pretty good. Yeah. Puts it back. It sounds nutty. Sounds nutty. Yeah. I mean, I got, uh, nutty essentially would just make you want to laugh. And I bet you if you look at that, I would get a chuckle from it. This is you might get a snicker. Might get a snicker from me. We'll ah. say that. Ah. We'll see so. what you did there. Mm -hmm. Bro, I we appreciate glad. it. We appreciate it. Jesus. Uh, this guy's just roasting everybody. Good Lord. Oh, yeah. I'll leave that one in the comments. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Let's, now we have finished uh, the first of our radical rankings. Now let's go to radical ranking number two. Before we get into some later rankings of some very delectable, uh, Treats from Little Delectable. Debbie. That's We're going to talk word. about the uh, the worst of the worst, in my honest opinion. These are the top five worst Little Debbie snacks. I'll fight you on these. Well, so. it, can, we, can we confirm that you have actually tried these? One I have not. So how can it be considered the worst, then? Because I can't. It just <laughs> sounds really bad. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going off a of personal opinion on this. All I right. don't think what it would be good. So, are you able to give in detail descriptions no. why they are bad? Uh, I will, based off the flavoring. Okay. I will get into it. All right. That's Number five is a hot take. Start now with it. Do not care. Anybody that likes this, you uh, need professional help. Mm. Uh, these are the Star Crunches <laughs> at number five. Um, I don't even remember what so, the hell is on these things. I never heard of these. 
my coworkers mentioned it yesterday. They brought brought them in today. Tried one. It was pretty good. So I don't know why it's number five. I, on here. I, I I recognize the box, but I don't know if I've actually ever had a Star Crunch. So I don't even know what it is. So the flavoring, it's cookies with caramel and crisp rice. Huh. So it's like it's, uh, it's actually good. So it's like a right. So it's like a chocolate covered rice krispie treat. Or in my honest opinion, just eat a uh, rice cake. It's a lot healthier for you, honestly. It's a lot better flavoring too. These are no, crispy. wait a second, Austin. Austin, we, Austin bullshit. We have a garbage. comment saying, "Get that crown off this Joker." Austin, bullshit. If you if you had to pick between that and a rice cake, I'm pretty sure you rice would towards Star Crunch. No, rice come cake. on. One hundred percent, Greg. <laughs> I'm telling you, there are wonderful rice cakes out there. This that are top tier for me. This is garbage. Mm. I'll stand by that. I know that's wow. a hot take for a lot of people, but Star Crunch for me. Get out of here. Was it too crunchy is the problem? Was that the it's, issue? No, it's the it's okay. So when I say this, it's gonna sound like it's too crunchy, but it's the literal texturing. Okay. Like a cookie's not supposed to feel like that. <laughs> like you take it out and you're like, oh, this is a little weird. Why does it feel like this? You eat it, it's garbage. Why does it taste like that? Mm. Like it gets stuck in your teeth all the time. It's like corn on the cob. I love corn on the cob, but it gets stuck in my teeth all the time. I can respect that part because that's why I'm not a big caramel guy. I don't Very like that I get stuck to my teeth. That's fair. more or less the rice stuff getting stuck in my teeth. But yes, the caramel will come into play for okay. that. That's fair. Number number four is the one I have not tried, uh, and that's due to another allergy concern. But this sounds terrible. Uh, number four, these are the pecan spin wheels. What? This is basically like a cinnamon roll, but you put pecans on it. Like there's nothing. So it's wrong. basically I'm a not cinnamon a fan roll. Of this one. If you okay, so let's go with that, Greg. It's a cinnamon roll, but you take out all the things that make a cinnamon roll good, and you you make this. No, I no, I would think based off of Ping, this. Ping said what? <laughs> no, no, dude, because like honestly, like most pecan stuff usually has like uh, it has kind of like a cinnamon like syrup type thing to go with it essentially. So think of this as essentially a cinnamon roll, but with no icing and just pecans on the inside with it. What's the best part about a cinnamon roll, Greg? The whole thing. The icing. Oh, get the fuck out of here. There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Listen, again, never tried it, but I've also, I've tried pecans before. Found that out the hard way too. Mm. Uh, and they're trash. Like I will, I will put pecans to the side any day. Um, it's like pecan pie. What are you doing? Oh, I love, oh, no, I love pecan pie. No, Greg, that's yes. like the worst. It's no. so good. It's good. I even like for, for Thanksgiving, my, my aunt makes sweet potato casserole with pecans on top of it. It's amazing. Sweet potato. Amazing. What? It's amazing. <laughs> what? She'll do half with marshmallows and half with pecans. It's amazing. Just do the whole thing with marshmallows like it's supposed to be. No, because the pecans are delicious. It adds like a nice touch to it. Yeah, it's so good. The only thing that's crunching is my brain right now. We'll move on to number three. Um, I, these originally, I thought these can't be real. They, these feel like a knockoff until I tried them and they were garbage. Uh, <laughs> the name, God, what were they even thinking? Uh, number three, these are the Devil Creams. Yeah, these are kind of like, they're just boring. It's boring and boring, it, like basic. the chocolate is not great on these. Like they're not good. And you mix up with mediocre like filling, it just stems why this even came into fruition. It just makes no sense to me. This would also be something that I would want to put in the freezer because I, and it would basically be like a mini ice cream sandwich to me. Yeah, That's it's not just, a bad idea. That's probably, that would probably be the way to go in this case because I would not want to eat it as is. Where's the Jesus creams? <laughs> they're in a cross shape. Sorry. <laughs> Good question. And it's also a yellow cake, too. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. Christ cream. <laughs> what? Christ cream? <laughs> All right, number two. Come on, get your Christ <laughs> creams. Get your Christ creams. Number two. <laughs> what were they thinking? Um, these are the banana marshmallow pies. What in the absolute world was Lil Debbie thinking? I like fruit. I like, I guess these are filling sandwiches. I yeah. like those too. 
Um, don't ever put these together. Honestly, they, this looks like a um, the just from the picture, it looks like a moon pie, but like a banana moon pie, basically. Mm. That's kind of like the gist I think they were trying to go with. I like. Honestly, I've, I've never had these ones. I I think I would be willing to give these a try because like I I do enjoy banana banana flavored stuff. So yeah. The the banana flavoring in this is not good, Greg. Really? Um, I thought so too. I said okay, maybe these aren't going to be as bad because I tried. Um, the first common our thing we had like the vanilla or vanilla banana uh, twins. I think they were called. I'm not mm-hmm. sure what they were, but uh, I tried those and I th- th- those were absolute trash. And maybe they had learned their lesson and made these and. It just was worse. I, I don't know how to, you know, it's the equivalent of Jared Leto getting movie roles. They know he's bad, but they keep giving it to him. It makes no sense. But he'll get he'll um, get the occasional he'll get the occasional Academy Award victories every now and then. So he's got that to hang on. What he's gonna get is a more billion dollars. That's what he's getting. Yeah. So we'll in move. order to fund a thirty seconds to March tour. Which trash. nothing's wrong with that. No, I mean I believe I can walk on water too. Number one. He, was, he wasn't Fox. bad in Lord of War. Did you ever see that? I would say maybe, but then again, I've, I've, it's very hard for me to say I've seen a good Jared Leto movie. So yeah, uh, we'll move on to number one, Raisin Cream Pies. Yeah. What? I, I didn't you? know these were a thing. I, I, uh, yeah, I'm not touching this one. Can you imagine... Let's say that these are taken out of the box and they're sitting in the plastic wrappers in your cupboard. Mm-hmm. And you take it and you're like, ooh, these chocolate, they, they got chocolate chip cream pies. Mm. And you bit into it and it's a goddamn raisin cookie. I mean, no, 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 no. Wait, I, wait, 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 wait. I love raisin oatmeal cookies. Like yes. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Yes. Oatmeal raisin cookies. That oatmeal would be raisin, delicious. Yes. But raisin. I mean, I you like better it. be putting up your hands because we're fighting. I like, like raisins. I just don't think this is a good combo no i agree if this was like if this was an oatmeal cream pie but they put raisins in the with the oatmeal cookies i would be all for it i'd be totally cool with it but like raisins with like yellow cake no no absolutely not this kind of looks Doesn't... like you would like leave this out at a picnic and they look like little ants on them you no confused. no honestly exactly what this is this is for people who are trying to get who are trying to trick their kids because they don't want them to have chocolate and instead they want fruit um, so apparently that, that movie yes. starred Nicolas Cage. I'll have to watch it off the recommended to Steph. She loves Nicolas Cage films. Which is, it's hilarious. Loves. Um, and, uh, he says, keep the raisin out of my cream pie, please. Yes. <laughs> uh, and Chip says, can't break your teeth on raisins. Yeah. He, I mean, your, your oral hygiene has been a big topic today. So. I don't know what, listen, just, the oral hygiene is fine, gentlemen. Okay. Mm. Let's relax. I keep professional look at it. Shit. I don't believe you. But all right, great. Next week on the show, Dennis, come down here. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, let me get my. See if Britt Baker's in town. Maybe she'll be able yeah. to give him a, give him a free look. <laughs> They'll be like, rank the thing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, you can't talk while I'm in your mouth, sir. Hold on. So, yeah, these these are absolute trash. Uh, and raisins on with these, just it's just bad. It's just bad. Keep, keep them out, like you said. Um, so Mama White says, my friend makes raisin-filled cookies that are to die for. Uh, I'll be dead, all right, because it sounds like <laughs> it's just absolutely... He doesn't get a lot of fruit in his diet, apparently. Okay, now we're... Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you're, you, you're out of line there, sir. What? So you just don't like raisins in general. No, he's just like, hey, it's, it's his teeth that are screwed up, but now it's his, now it's diet that is screwed up. <laughs> You, 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 you need to, you need to pop the brakes there, good Greg. You're getting to him, Greg. I, I could tell he's about to take the crown off. Well, I mean, and that's stuck to his head too, so that'd be impressive. <laughs> it's true. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are the top worst little Debbie snacks. Let's get into an interesting segment. Probably the best part about the show. This is the great old debate. So, for those that do not know, uh, this is a little play on from uh, Mary Kill. Thank, you. Thank you for the censor. Yes. Censored. Uh, 
called specifically this. Pull it up. Devour, decent, disgusted. So what I have here, just for all the people at home that cannot see, to put the stream aside for right now, hold on. We have a wheel of oh, various no. Little Debbie snacks. It is going to be three random picks, and then us three each will go of what they would devour, what they think is decent, uh -huh. and what they are disgusted by. Big shout out to Wheels now. I'm I'm suddenly become a massive wheel guy ever since this has Thanks been introduced in the Thoughts Wheel, the yes. wheel has come into a big part. It should be on the what do you guys have on for two beers deep? It's like the the Hall of Fame for the, the wheel should be a part of the Hall of Fame. Wheel That'd be, be a part incredible. Of the Hall of Fame, I'm, I'm, hang on, I might have to put that in the I'm gonna put that in the chat with with uh with Deacon Josh now. That's a great while idea. While you actually. do that, while you do that, the first spin. Da, 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 da. 15 names on this list, just so you know, by the way. And, <laughs> and well, look at that. Pecan spin wheels. Huh. Pecan spin wheels. First one spinning it again, just so everyone can see. Da, 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 and it has landed on the Little Debbie chocolate cupcakes. Ooh. So. Pecan spin wheels, chocolate cupcakes, and now for the final spin, zebra cakes. Ooh. So, uh, I'm assuming Grind Project, who chatted in earlier, has given us the order. He did not, but 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 not. good old but good old Chip did. Thank you, Chip. The order stands as what, gentlemen? It is Vo, Austin, and Greg. Love it. So again, the three names. And again, we can do this multiple times. Doesn't matter. But pecan spin wheels, chocolate cupcakes, zebra cakes. Go. So we're going to devour, destroy, disgusted. That's not what it is, but right. it is devour, decent, disgusted. Oh, de that's right. Yeah, devour and destroy are basically the same thing. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to set up the... The draft screen. It's okay. You're gold. Decent and disgusted. Where is it at? That's okay. So devour. Decent. Decent. Disgusted. All right. Devour. Zebra cakes. What? There's two in a package. You destroy two right there. Yeah. Open another package. They're mm -hmm. e they're easy to eat. They're tasty. Yeah. They got the cream filling, icing. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Um, decent. Chocolate cupcakes, they're just normal. Nothing too crazy about them. They're good. Disgusted. Pecan spin wheels. I'm not a pecan fan. Pecan, however you want to say it. Pecan, pecan, tomato, tomato. Exactly. Tomato. They're, just, they're not good. Yeah. So I pass okay. on. Uh, disgusted by that. Okay. Um, for diversity, I'm going to put on here, uh, I would devour the chocolate cupcakes. They have icing filled with them, and I think that is a game changer. If they didn't, then it would probably be in the decent category. But I'm going to go decent on the zebra cakes. Um, you said open a pack. There's two. Eat another one. That just makes me feel like I want to vomit right there, just eating more than one package of these things. I think they're decent. I think they're all right. And then, obviously, I can't have it, but they just we just found out not too long ago, disgusted of the pecan spin wheels. Uh Pecan, pecan, tomato, tomato, trash is trash, and that is where it stands. I thought you were going to say trash and trash for a second. That's not no. good reason to do it. Then leaves Greg. Uh, I will devour the chocolate cupcake just because I can't go wrong with the, can't go wrong with the chocolate cupcake, honestly. Um, so th this, this one's, like, a little annoying to me because, like, I personally, as I've gotten older, I'm not have been a fan of zebra cakes, just because they're they're honestly too sweet for me, and they like disintegrate when I eat them, so I don't really get much from them honestly. So, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the pecan wheel as decent, and the zebra cakes as disgusted. Ooh, I'm taking. Yeah, I just Th I, thumbs down. Yeah, I just. I, 
I I liked them a lot when I was younger, but like as I've gotten older, like I do not crave a zebra cake at all. It's just they're not my thing. Totally understandable. So I found out. So I forgot that they are they're fifteen and three each. So I say we just keep doing these until they're all gone. What do you guys think? That's fine. I like it. I like it. Sure. Let's roll with it. Spin that wheel. The three names were removed. First off, you didn't do it right, you dingus. It's spin that wheel. And for the first one, it is the Nutty Buddy. Oh, the well, Nutty this, Buddy. Well, this one's easy one for you. That's very true for me, but, you know, we could get some good ones in here. And speaking of that, we land on the Star Crunch. Oh, <laughs> oh. man. Nutty Buddy, Star Crunch, and the final name. Ooh, the Iced Honey Buns. That's a, so that's vote. An interesting one. Damn. The Iced Honey Buns, the Star Crunch, and the Nutty Buddy. Go. Devour, decent, disgusted. Devour, Nutty Buddy. Decent. Iced honey buns, just because I feel like in middle school, like that was a snack to go to. And then disgusted Star Crunch, only because I just heard of them yesterday. I had no idea what they were before then. Fair. We get into some some treacherous waters with me here. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> I can't have the one, and yet the other one is awful. Yeah. So, who? Um. I think I have to say devour the iced honey bun okay. just because it's the one thing that's keeping this alive for me right now. Um, and then we get into the decent <laughs> and disgusting Keeping category. you alive. <laughs> decent and disgusting category right now. I'm going to do this because they're that bad. I will say decent to the Nutty Buddy because I appreciate the following that it has and what it does. Mm -hmm. Just can't eat it. But I appreciate it for what it is. I will never put Star Crunch anywhere near the decent or the uh, Devour category. So I am disgusted by the Star Crunch. Get out of here. All right. I am the same as Vo. I will devour Nutty Buddies easily. Chocolate and peanut butter is probably one of the greatest combos ever in food history, and I love them. Decent. I was never crazy about honey buns when I was younger because I always, I personally, they look like cinnamon rolls, so I was expecting cinnamon rolls, but when I didn't get cinnamon, I got annoyed with it, so I yeah. never went back to it. But I wouldn't But I wouldn't need a Star Crunch because, A, I've never had one, and, B, I'm not a caramel guy, so that's how I would do it. True. Okay. So we got three more of these. I want to point out there are three types of donuts on this list. I'll watch all three. So it'll be interesting if all the donuts were somehow to follow in one category. Mm -hmm. So first, spin. Starting off hot. We have the oatmeal cream pies. Ah, the OG. Gotta love it. Oatmeal cream pies. Spinning. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Swiss the roll. Swiss rolls. Oh, oh, no. Oh, the Swiss rolls. Oh, it's man. It's going to be the hardest one, I think. And the final spin for this one. No. Oh, God. What? The fudge rounds. Oh. Boy, this is going to oh. suck. Oh, my God. Okay, so oatmeal cream pies, fudge rounds, and the Swiss rolls. Vo, have fun with this one. <laughs> Devour oatmeal cream pies. I feel like my parents give me a box for my birthday every year. Still, they stay true my whole life. I, you did. You, still, we, we. I do remember you had them in college I feel too. Like all the time, like you had them all day. the time. We had you had like one of those big boxes in like our cabinets. I'm pretty sure in our dorm room. Cause yeah, I think you. I, think, I, I would always have them. Oh my god, they were. Yeah, they were all there. This is where it gets tough. Decent. I'll go with. I'll go with the fudge round. Because okay. it's kind of like an oatmeal cream pie, but just chocolate fudge it is. version. It is, yes. And then Swiss roll. 
I'll say disgusted because the chocolate always falls off in the mm. wrapper. So that would make me mad, and Ho-Hos are better. Oh, well, hold, Ooh. hold your tongue there, sir. <laughs> hold your tongue. Um, this is an interesting one for me. I will go the same for devour. I will devour the oatmeal cream pie. However, this is where we this is where we change. And it sucks because I like all of these. Yeah. But I'm going with the Swiss round rolls for decent because it's not overwhelming. It has their they're smaller. So they're bite size, or I just wouldn't say bite size, but they're smaller than the average of your two other varieties of sandwiches that we have here. And it has the ice filling that is not overwhelming. It is very in the middle, which is where it needs to be. Now, fudge rounds, I don't like it, but I have to put it in the disgusting category. They're one of my favorite little Debbie snacks, but at, there are times the fudge flavoring is very overpowering where kind of leans you to a, like if you eat the wrong thing in the day before eating this you're gonna have a i mean you might as well just take yourself to the bathroom and you're gonna be in there for hours because it just it's just not what i thought taco bell was bad uh it, just the wrong the wrong thing at the wrong time gentlemen so obo cream pie devour decent the swiss roll and disgusted fudge rounds. Greg, you are up. Once again, I am the exact same as Vo. I will devour an oatmeal cream pie. It's the OG. I I love it. And also, it's surprisingly filling. <laughs> and it's probably because of the oatmeal. They used to be. Now mm. they're smaller. Ah, uh, bastards. But you know that Dilly Bars are smaller now, too? Everything is. Yeah. Uh, I will. More, more expensive. De damn corporations. Decent for the fudge rounds. because Decent for the fudge rounds and disgusted on the Swiss rolls. And honestly, I was never a big Swiss roll guy. And, on, and also, probably because I've never been a big cake guy either. So that's probably why I lean towards the other ones. Because it's not something that I ever like sought out in that case. Now, question, Greg. Hmm. Say you were to get married. Okay. Are you having a cake? I'm having a fucking cookie table, damn it. <laughs> we're, we're <having laughs> what kind of question's that? An oatmeal cream. You can have a cookie table, table and have a cake, Greg. It's too much. No. I wanna, too much. Too much. Give me it's a joke. Listen, much. listen, listen. I've. I've seen some of the greatest cookie tables ever he, at, at weddings. He's a big cookie table. I'm guy. a massive cookie table fan. If if I and if I ever do get married, I don't even know if I would have a reception first off, but that's for another discussion. But if I am, I am going to have a damn cookie table because I I have seen some elite cookie tables in my day. When if you ever see Mrs. Glass come on this chat, ask her about her amazing cookie table at her wedding. It was the elite of the elite. I I will have to ask her if she ever comments. I, listen, I don't think there's any shadow of a doubt that if, you know, if any of the three of us get married, that we're having a cookie table, but I'm having a cake. Now, the, the queen wants to have an ice cream cake instead of an actual cake. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, considering that ice cream melts. Well, here's my... Here's there. The whole thing with it, honestly. She's poking her head through the door because she knows I'm talking about her. Hi, honey. Morgan would want, like, a wedding pie. A wedding I would be, pie. I would love that actually. But here's my thing: at any wedding that you go to, do you ever even want to eat the cake? I mean, I don't, because I'm usually enjoying I'm enjoying the alcohol and I'm enjoying the cookie table. That's Fred, all. You that's said all you I need. Want a cake guy, so you're telling us that you wouldn't eat the cake. That's yeah. We, yeah. I, that's understandable for you, Austin. It is impression time. Oh, uh, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna do this but okay it is a little debbie impression <laughs> from mr chip himself chip what does little debbie even sound like i, I don't even... i mean I, i'm assuming there were they were commercials like back in the I, day i never saw any of them <laughs> okay um <laughs> to say like try and I... promote like a yeah swiss roll yeah Okay, well, I can do that. I can girls promote. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, would, I would assume it would have to be the same as, like, a Girl Scout, like, promoting, like, their Girl Scout cookies. And they always end oh. up selling them, so, hey, it works out. Oh, uh, you are – Chip, you never cease to amaze me, my friend. Um, wow, look at all these great things in the world. You know what would sound even better? One of the 
the little Debbie snacks that you can buy in the bakery aisle. Don't wait. Go get one now. Now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Can you imagine if it ended like that? That was terrifying. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. And it, that's right. for the devil cream one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay, we got two more rounds of this. Let's go. First spin. We are landing on the traditional honey buns. Okay. Traditional honey buns. All three donuts are still in play right now. Which is the key. Are you kidding me? Strawberry. Sh oh, no. Cosmic brownies. Oh, well. And fine. If, if we get all the donuts in one thing, I'm gonna lose it. Oh darn it! We we had a shot. The chocolate donuts. Wow. So, the cosmic brownies, the strawberry shortcake rolls, and the chocolate donuts. Vo. Wait. No. Say those again. The cosmic brownie. Yeah. The strawberry shortcake rolls. Oh, you said honey buns first. Yeah, you did. Oh. No, oh yeah, that's right. It's the honey bun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The strawberry shortcake ones have not been selected. I apologize. Mm -hmm. So the cosmic brownies, the traditional honey bun, and the chocolate donuts. If I remember correctly, by the way, we're talking about like the chocolate donuts that came in like these the are container. in the sleeve. Oh, these the, sleeve. the sleeve. Okay. I thought we were talking sleeve. about like the container, the ones. No, these are the sleeve ones. Okay, okay. And that speaks for all the donuts that are involved in this category. Got it. So, Got it. Uh, Devour. Cosmic brownies. Mm -hmm. I I don't eat them a lot anymore, but growing up, I used to eat them a lot. Uh, decent chocolate donuts. Same reason as the chocolate cupcake. They're just normal snack. Mm -hmm. Nothing too crazy about them. And then traditional honey buns. Disgusted. Not, don't hate them, but compared to the other three, that's where it has to go. How does it feel to be wrong? Never wrong. Oh. Let me let me hear this. So, hot take. Uh, Devour. Oh, this is going to be about the candy thing all over again, isn't Devour it? Devour the traditional honey buns. I'm not sure what you're thinking. Uh, these were a godsend among Little Debbie snacks with this category. Uh, they are sweet, delectable, and they're just really, really cheap, honestly. Like... With the other ones, like you have to buy them in packaging. The honey buns you can get in a sleeve on its own, and they're big. So that's a bargain for it right there. Honey bun devour. Decent, I am going with the, uh, like you, the chocolate donuts. I think that they fit right into the Swiss roll category where they have just the amount of right amount of chocolate that it's not overwhelming. It's pleasant. And say you don't, say you weren't happy to like them. You can share them with your friends. If you got them, Chip, we've established I've got some on the show, so it's fine with that. And uh, this has nothing to do with the candy element. Disgusted Cosmic Brownies. These were amazing in my youth. But as I've gotten older, mm. I've realized that the, the taste just isn't the same, gentlemen. It's a very uh, aging process where... You know, sometimes we grow up in life where, you know, everyone eats ranch and then you grow up and you actually start eating blue cheese with your wings. You know, you, you just take that step. But for me, the Cosmic Brownie, it's disgusting for me. Still a, a marvelous little Debbie snack. I will still snack on them from time to time, but it's not the same. It's not the same as the, uh, the wonderful element that once was, that is my memory. It's a terrifying thing. I'm getting really annoyed with how many times that I'm agreeing with Vo because it's the exact same thing for me again. That's what three three in a row. Three out of four. Three out of four, yeah. I will devour cosmic brownies any time I get the option to. Decent chocolate donuts, but I but if it was like the contain like the styrofoam container or not styrofoam, like the, the plastic like covered container with like I don't even know how to describe it. I think hostess might have made it. That's probably why I'm getting them mixed up. Mm. But those chocolate chocolate covered donuts, you could like pop those in and not even think about it. They just like I don't know what it is, but like they those were addictive. I will I give them a little bag. Like No, 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 no. So like 
Because those, those, I think those were Hostess. They, they are in the little bags, but that actually – is that Hostess? That might be. I think so. That might I think be. Those are Hostess. Yeah, but there there used to be like a there used to be kind of like a weird like almost like a baker's box of um of those chocolate mini donuts that and it had like a clear plastic on top of it that you could see and I don't remember if those Hostess or Little Debbie but like both of them basically, I both of them I will have nothing wrong with devour with devouring but if it's over cosmic brownie it's cosmic brownie all the way and then and then again pointing this out, honey buns annoyed me because. They looked like cinnamon rolls, and therefore I wanted them. So that's what happens. Where did you put pecan spin wheels? I said I said decent. Okay. But it was actually like they Both had at least pecan a cinnamon. spin wheels look like cinnamon rolls, Greg. Yeah, but Is there was at least a cinnamon cool? aspect to them, like with. Okay. All right, I'm yeah. just honey buns. There was no cinnamon whatsoever. Uh, all right, I'm just. <laughs> You're treading on what? Then no, I. I'm <laughs> no, I'm being like 100 percent real on this one, bud. Okay, all right. Well, real doesn't qualify as enjoyment, but I understand that. Our final one. Uh, no need to spin. The strawberry shortcake rolls, the glazed donuts, and the powdered donuts. Mm. Strawberry shortcake rolls, the glazed donuts, and the powdered donuts. I would go with Devour, strawberry shortcake rolls, mm. my number one. They're amazing. Can't beat them. Decent powdered sugar donuts. I feel like they they are a bit messy, but glazed donuts they're just boring, so they're disgusting to I've me. I've never had a good glazed donut, but I you've never gone to Krispy Kreme and gotten a I have for, and gotten have. the free one, yeah. I have, and I'm. I'd rather have something else than a glazed donut. No, he, you know, he was outside, he was tired, and then he and all of the friends that he was playing with went and got Krispy Kreme glazed yeah. donuts. So that's <laughs> We did. They gave it to us. I was like, I don't want this, and I threw it back at him. Oh. I was like, put some icing on it or powdered sugar, please. But wait, it was like freshly <laughs> hot, too. So it was like, it, like, it was like basically like when you ate it, it like melted in your mouth. So when you threw it back, it basically like disintegrated when it hit them. Threw it. They had powdered sugar there, threw it in there, and mm. they threw it back. Oh. So Hopefully you threw that there. better than you threw the ball outside. But let's get into uh, mine <laughs> for this. Um, I will go the same devour. I will say devour strawberry shortcake rolls. Uh, they are honestly in one of the the all elite tiers, I would say, when it comes to a little W snack. I think they're delectable. Might not be as good as some other ones, but I think they're delectable. This is where we differ. Uh, I will go the decent glazed donuts. Um, I think that the right kind, they always, in my opinion, I don't know if you guys did this, but I would heat them up. I would heat up the glazed donuts where, so that where they would have you them? in the microwave, though. Interesting. Thing. Interesting. Kinda, hey, that's very hard interesting. For, interesting. Okay. Kind of hard. I mean, I would like open up the plastic, like the, the, the end on it. So it would be like still warm inside the, like mm. it would, Okay, the heat okay, okay. Skate would go in and like melt it as it goes. Uh, the powdered donuts are, in my opinion, on the lower tier of all the little Debbie snacks. Uh, they'll have you coughing more than a Popeye's biscuit without water. <laughs> they so do. They do make you I, cough if you eat too many. Of them. Makes no sense to me. Uh, and these are like what all the kids, like what the kids eat. And I, I've seen it all the time. They take one bite. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I, I did forget about the coughing yeah you gotta take your time you gotta be careful when you eat them God, well which they do not they go no. right in so no strawberry shortcake roll glaze powder i <coughs> he just ate powdered sugar donut yeah really uh Excuse if this was uh, yes. if if this was me right now i probably wouldn't I don't even like any of these three now, honestly. It is it is you right now. Yeah, I don't I wouldn't lean towards it. Here's why too. Like I agree with you. The powdered sugar and the glazed donuts are both very messy. So like that's not that's like something that like I'm I wouldn't stand now. Um and strawberry shortcake, like again, I'm not a big K person, so that 
is probably where I lean towards. But like, if I'm thinking back, I would probably devour the powdered sugar ones because I distinctly remember eating a good bit of those when I was younger. So there's that. Um, and decent, I would make, I would do the glazed donut ones as well. Although, but I don't remember eating those a lot. The mini ones, at least. But I would still probably pick those over strawberry shortcake and then discuss it would be strawberry shortcake. Well, it's okay to be wrong. It happens to the best take of us. Don't take my life. So, that was honestly, I, I would say that's probably one of the better great debates that we've had. Uh, I enjoy it. It was a longer one, which had more uh, content delivered to you as fans. But for right now, uh, go to the restroom. Go grab a beer. And join us back as we get into one of the most controversial uh, top tens in the entire world. And that's uh, saying something. Stay tuned. Let's dive right into sports, as I have strong opinions on that. Which college team could beat a professional team in the same sport right now? Okay. There is not a single answer that is better than the LSU Tigers defeating the Cincinnati Bengals. Even if I know the pitch that's coming, every other part of me is still normal. That's why it's frustrating for me, Greg. It's like, it, it's like okay, if I know what something is coming, I know ahead of time, I still have to be able to do the action to get the result that I need. Okay, so they won three games yes. in 10 years yes. with three rebuilds. I don't lose at arguments. All Especially right. about fast food, so yeah. <laughs> you will never walk alone. Guess what? Now you will. Coronavirus. <laughs> I barely touch my girlfriend's cat. The most I'd be willing to do is like just kind of put my finger on its forehead and just like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with us is uh, Alex Kazor from Steelers Depot. We are live with Ryan Smith, professional cornhole player in the ACL. Ryan, what all franchises were you able to work with in the NHL? Uh, with Phoenix, uh, Carolina, and Detroit. No. So here is Moorhead's ranking. Moorhead is my cousin. He is the rank king. Higher Top honest. 10 extra Power Rangers. Okay. This is the top 10 emo songs of the 2000s. There's only one correct answer for number one. Why is F is for Family better than Futurama when Futurama is like Star think... Wars for potheads? Like, I know. I'm so I think... <laughs> We have, one, we have one. We have one or two that I'm are so mad in the chat. Sorry. <laughs> You're welcome for that. All right, we're gonna get banned. gentlemen welcome back are you ready to be mad i think we all are absolutely insulted buckle up because <laughs> this is about to be a hot mess that i like to call the top 10 little debbie snacks these are obviously my opinions and my opinions matter with this uh i enjoy all of these snacks but some are better than others. And if it's your favorite, don't go, just grab a tissue, cry your tears. Here's the world's smallest violin for you because we're getting into it. Starting off with number 10, we have the chocolate cupcakes. Mm. I think these are right where they need to be. Gentlemen, uh, they're not anything spectacular. Uh, in my opinion, I think they're better than the Hostess ones because the Hostess are wow. That's a hot take. Well, here's my here's my take with it. I believe the Hostess ones, the the neck of it is slimmer, and there's a lot more on top. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these ones I feel like are they're just the right amount. So it has the perfect amount of icing. It has the perfect delectability of a of a cupcake. So number ten for me, chocolate cupcake. I, hmm. I like it at ten. It has to be, it has to be on the top ten. So it has to be on the list, that's for sure. And I would say if this is the barometer, that's that's a good barometer to set. And we'll that we'll see where the banana twins are at. 
<laughs> Nowhere. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Uh, a lot of spoilers on this sh- program. But number nine, zebra cakes. See, I'm telling you, like, for me now, I'm okay with this because zebra cakes are too sweet and they disintegrate when you eat them, in my opinion. So I'm okay with this. But if this was me younger, I'd be pissed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. If you were younger and didn't have a, a better sense of taste, Greg, yes, you. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> but uh, to me, it's it's too much. It's too much. They're great. You can have one. I honestly don't eat even. I don't even eat both in the sleeve. Half the time, I will get a sleeve and I will have one, and I'll let my girlfriend have one. And Aww, I'm nice guy. Nice guy. I don't share a lot, but I do share that. Do so. you do you give the cat some too or no? No. No, the cat can eat dry food. No. Cat can eat dry food. Do you, <laughs> would you consider like the Christmas tree ones and the Valentine's hearts like the same? I think they all fall in the same category. Oh, okay. I think so because the zebra cakes are like the traditional ones, and in my opinion, they'll have your seasonal holiday ones, like your your pumpkins and your Christmas trees and your hearts like Valentine's day. I think they're all just zebra cakes. Now I could be wrong about that, but that's where it falls for me. And number nine, okay. this is where people are going to get pissed and I do not care. Number eight, cross your heart and hope to die. Greg, these are the cosmic brownies at number eight at eight at eight. <laughs> the fuck is wrong. With you. This. I stand by this. Wow. They are not as good as what I remember. You are crazy. Are no, I'm you are not. Crazy. They are not as good as what I remember. You the, you the, literally with your literally the big picture of you right now with you pointing makes you look like a crazy guy. Just saying. I have never been more rational and sane. No, I, I understand that. Wait. Oh yeah, we're back to this. Sorry. Talking to you know wow. over here. Unbelievable. Rational and sane up here. Rational um, and insane. Give me a break. I- explain yourself. They, I, I great. I literally said they're not as good as what I remember. Well, they are not. Mm, I, I they've been the exact same as long as I can remember. No, no, no. I put no. I put we don't agree on here. Thank you, because we don't. <laughs> this is absolute. You doing the thing? I'm, I'm so. <laughs> the, I'm so sorry, you guys. He said they shouldn't even be on the list. Wow. Who? In the comments, he. That's. Uh, that's team. I work with him. Oh, okay. He um is not a fan of cosmic brownies. This is why we have this ranking actually. Because it was that idea. That's yeah. Fun. So they were, they were talking about it at work. I was like, Austin, no, little Debbie snacks. Cosmic brownies absolutely so, should be there on this list. He's more. He might not be as as close to me on this ranking with that, but he's certainly a lot more right than you two are. Uh, cosmic brownies at eight are exactly where they need to be. Number seven. Now this is an interesting one. Cause I've had these a couple of times, but I don't know if you guys have ever had them before. So I thought it was a little too much, which is why, I mean, they're delicious, but it's too much. And this is more like the new style of little Debbie snacks. Cause these are the salted caramel bars. I, I've, I've never had these. I'm not a caramel guy, so I probably wouldn't even like want them, but that's that's for, just me. As long as I can remember, like caramel is okay on its own, but when you add that element of salt and sweet to things, it brings out a whole new door to kick down your taste buds. Hmm. And this is exactly it. Now, are they greater than a lot of the other names? Absolutely not. But it was the genuine first time that I had this, I was surprised because I thought this was going to be a huge pile of crap. And I was surprised. I was very surprised uh, for me, and that's why they're at seven. Is it kind of like a Twix bar? Kind of. That, that is that's what it looks what, like. That's kind of what it looks like. It's exactly like, yeah. what it looks Not like. Not left Twix or right Twix. It's bigger Twix. <laughs> so. it's, can't, it's XL Twix, basically. XL Twix. No, it looks like a, it looks like a flat I know, Twix, actually. I know. It's just I'm thinking of like Magic Mike and then Magic yeah, Mike XL. on top, it, it's probably a Twix bar. Basically, yeah. And then just like curb stomp it or something we're, like we're, that. We're on are the little kidding? Debbie. We're on Our the caramel Debbie. cookies are layered with chocolate. Have you never tried one? It's look honestly, it's the best marketing scheme since the breakup of Mike and Ike. That's it's the best marketing scheme. But the Mike and Ike thing didn't even last that long, though. Doesn't matter. It was great. Uh, it was great. Just sure. like this next one, it's great, 
but it's not all there. And I know a lot of you are going to be crying your tears and I'm so sorry. But number six is the strawberry shortcake roll. He's having way too much fun being wow. angry right now. <laughs> He's having way too much fun. <laughs> I understand why you would think these would be higher. It's just not, compared to the other ones, it's not all there. And it's nothing against this one. I have eaten these. I enjoy these. Do they stack up against the rest? Sorry. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Should at least be number five. Really? I think number five is where it needs to be. And speaking of number five, we'll get into it as you dry your tears. You just as said it should be number five. Yeah, you did. You just, just said it should be number five. five. No. <laughs> yes, you said I think it should be at number five. Said speaking of number five. Where it should be. That's what you said. No. Yeah. I'll clip it. We're gonna Play this back. I will enjoy watching We're going to rewind the tape on this one. Wrong. Yes, glad. Number five. The traditional honey bun. Uh, no, you two. No, don't boring, give me. Boring, boring, Get out of here. Some boring, boring, boring. You know, sometimes you don't need to go all out in order to enjoy a nice snack. These were bigger. These were cheaper. And they're better. You're both wrong. Yeah. Number. It should be number six. No, it should. Yeah. Flip them. Where it needs to be. Number five. I'm going to flip them. Technically, he doesn't have the power to do that. <laughs> I'm hijacking he's the so, show. He's I'm so stunned. I'm hijacking he's the show because we don't agree. <laughs> he's speechless. Sexy. Number four. Uh, I told you guys this was a tough thing for me to put it in this category because uh, I love them. Number four are the fudge rounds. That's fair. Fudge. Right where but right, where they need to be. Fudge rounds do deserve top ten at least. I, I don't know if they're top five for me, but I would, but I do agree they do. This is like a general category, general area, excuse me, that I think they belong. Do you agree with that, Bo? Are you going to hijack the show again? Or are you going to agree with it? I agree with this one. Okay, all right, there we go. Right for um, place. Number three. It's interesting because there's three on the box. These are the Swiss rolls at number three. These are exactly where they need to be. They're lighter, they're smaller, and they deliver such a, I want to say like a one-two punch in your mouth. Mm. But it is a wonderful, again, we talk about the honey bun being boring. This is as basic as you can get with chocolate and icing, but it works. It works. Listen, McDonald's has had the same menu for how long? Okay, they don't switch up a lot. Sometimes you, you got some, sometimes why, when you get why didn't you say it. Wendy's? He discriminates. Huh? You should have said Wendy's. He discriminates against oh, you mean the one that comes women. out with a new burger every time because half their stuff doesn't work and their chili is made from recycled beef. And, and has fingers in it. Garbage. What? And Wendy's? has fingers in it. Trash, bro! <laughs> Trash! <laughs> no amount of strawberry frosties can save that place. We go to I haven't had it yet. Is it good? I haven't had it yet. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I wouldn't know. It's trash. Wow. So, number two. This is tough. Um, can't have them, which is the weird part, that it would be so high. Aww. But it's wrong to not put them on here. I did the same thing when talking about any candy. I would put Reese's up at the top, too. But number two, we're gone with the Nutty Buddy. I'm it's proud right of you. Here, I'm right proud here. of you. You did the right, right thing. You did the right thing. You can't have them, but this is exactly in the area they deserve to be. Some would say he's our little nutty buddy. Yeah. Don't you refer to me as that. <laughs> Don't Aww. you dare refer to me as that. Little I'm going to start crying, bro. Don't you dare. Buddy. Don't you dare patronize me on my own damn show. <laughs> Here, it looks like I'm going to try to like going to try to tickle him. Look at little nutty oh, buddy. No. <laughs> No, Little starts kicking his daddy, leg. Buddy. Ranger, Ranger, don't touch me. Number <laughs> one. Number one. It is of no debate. This is by far the best Little Debbie snack that is out there. I will fight you to the death over these. I would say if these were like, think of these in like the scenario of Zombieland. We all know how uh, 
Oh, I can't remember what Woody Harrelson's character name is now. And that's Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't want to tip my tongue. Uh, these are what it, to me, what are to him as Twinkies. Uh, snowballs would probably be the star crunch. Just letting you know that. Um, oatmeal cream pies. 100%. Yes, sir. 100%. Um, I will go to the ends of the earth if there is a zombie apocalypse and find me some oatmeal cream pies because it is the simple things in life gentlemen the simple things did simple ever, snack simple indulgement simple fun did you ever see the uh the original um honey i shrunk the kids movie it's been a long time, a long time ago, yes a long time ago like there's like a scene in the middle of it where they're shrunk in in the lawn and they find the giant um oatmeal oh, cream pie. Yeah. yeah. That's like that's that's like that's a dream right there, if that's yeah. the case. Did you know this was the first little Debbie snack? So that's part of trivia. Yeah, I, I would have assumed this would have been the first one, yeah. yeah. See, I would have assumed maybe the nutty buddies would have been first, because again Nutty Buddies are kinda newer actually, if I remember it's, correctly. I know, but that's the weird thing. Like when you talk about like the naming of things, like a nutty buddy. Sounds like something that would be popped up in like the 80s or something. Like it just seems like some kind of slogan, like, oh, you got your buddies now, eat a nutty buddy. Yeah. It sounds like someone who would have like a Hawaiian shirt on. Mm -hmm. a yeah. Crown, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So where can we get Tom Selleck, is what you're saying? If you're going to do better, I'd Steven Seagal. Like, get out of here. <laughs> um, yeah. The oatmeal cream pies have won. Um, did I leave any out, gentlemen? I think that all these were properly placed. Uh, I'm a little surprised you didn't have the donuts on here. Just not a, like when it comes to like the variety of different things, I can get donuts anywhere. Well, I'm not even talking about like picking between them. I mean, like if you had like all three on as one, like just the donuts in general, you know? Yeah, no, I get it. Like, if, if I were to put them, I'd probably put them all into one category, but that's the same thing. I can get donuts anywhere. That's fair. Like, I don't think I could get an oatmeal, like, a little, like, oatmeal cream pie. I probably could get it somewhere, but it's not going to be the same feeling. Yeah. Which is what I get with, like, donuts. I can get a better donut from, like, Krispy Kreme or, like, a local donut shop. I'm not going to say Dunkin' Donuts because you know what you do. I not as good as you think you are, Dunkin'. Relax. I have seen, <laughs> I have seen bakeries that actually make their own oatmeal cream pie. And I, I, I've never like tried some, but like I bet you some homemade ones oh, be good. So good. Oh God, yeah, I bet you. They're probably, I think they're probably bigger too. I would bet. Now, it was a staple at one point. I've never had it, but have you guys ever had peace, love, and little donuts? Yes, yes, I have. I, I it's still down in um, it's still down the strip district. Love Where, it. Isn't there one in the Keys Rocks too? Maybe. Or is that that might be a different donut shop? I can't remember. There was one like on the way out to. There was one like past Monroeville. Like you remember where Sky Zone was? Mm -hmm. There was like there used to be one like on that road, like all the way to Golden Mile Highway. That was there. It's not there anymore. But the one down in the Strip District is still there. I I, I do love that place actually. There's some good donut combos you can get from that. Nothing more fun than eating a bunch of donuts and then going to Sky Zone, having <laughs> diarrhea on one of the trampolines. Just doesn't seem right. They were they were pretty uh, far. Did that happened to you. Yeah, they were pretty far no. apart. No. <laughs> I think um, I think you did forget the star crunch. I think that should be on there. Oh, the star. Oh, and, so. and the banana twins. Mm -hmm. Oh well, sorry, I have taste. So apologies. So clearly not. Thank Cosmic you Ryan's again, angry. Jesus. <laughs> um, we will always, as always, put these on our social platforms to have you all vote. Do you think you have a better list of little Debbie snacks? I sincerely doubt it. But you're more than welcome to try. Um, we take all comers here in terms of challenges, so to speak. This is a doozy for you guys, these, this one. I think that all these are properly placed, I think, where they need to be. So if you come at me with a list that's different, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Straight up, mm -hmm. I know you're wrong. Be it's okay to challenge it's yourself. It's definitely higher. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But It's a um, real teeth. Yeah. Thank you again to everyone that tuned in. Uh, Grind Project, Mama White, and paying for that one what comment, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we appreciate uh, a lot of the other new chatters that we got tonight. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We got, appreciate your viewership. Uh, you guys are what makes the show so good and why that this was episode 88. 
Uh, again, striving for that hundred mark. Uh, we are twelve off, gentlemen. Twelve more shows so we hit that number one thing. Watch, there'll be like another like Y two K like an episode like ninety nine, and like we the internet is <laughs> crash. That'd be incredible. Uh, awesome, we got another comment. Be poetic right justice. Poetic justice. Uh, the crown is cute. Thank you very much, usual bot. I, I want to like spruce it up a little bit. I gotta get yeah. it. And it, one more um, after that. It's super glued. Wow, from Miss Morgan. I think you forgot I'm to s- mention her. No, I would. I didn't. So, you guys know that I don't see the comments up, so I only. See, That's like, true. He doesn't. That's fair. Putting me in a hole though that I don't need to be. I'll dig my way out one way or another. Um, but we appreciate all the viewers that were put on tonight. Uh, love you guys' comments. Love what you guys are, what makes the show what it is and the zaniness and the wackiness and the chaotic mess that this is. Uh, we are always Tuesdays at 6.30. Catch us next week with a more zany, wacky topic that we love to dissect and make you... I don't want to say cringe. That's the wrong word. Angry? Uh, make your creative juices flow. That's more positive. I like it. So... um. Gavel Greg. Gavel Greg. He turns from the uh, noble knight into Gavel Gavel Greg. Greg. Nah. By the way, shout out to you for having to grab not only the no wait because I did this last week, but having to grab the gavel and the and all that ready last week when I wasn't in the studio. Gavel. Miss Morgan, I understand. She goes, "Am I chopped liver?" I literally said your name just now. And how can you love our comments if you don't read them? Well, the show goes where Bo says, hey, are you looking at the comments? Which right. then I'll look That's at how it works. So um, got to have everything on here. So you're not going to get me with that one, uh, Miss Morgan. I appreciate She's your viewership. You. Appreciate she your she comments, also loves so. Cosmic Brownies. Yeah. Well, you know what? So. Put one in the center and you and Bo can fight out in the parking lot for where that's going to go. <laughs> uh, we'll tune in next week, guys. Uh, 630 Tuesdays for episode 89 of not know what it is until the day before. So gavel Greg, thank you to everyone. Court is adjourned. Court is adjourned.